Hot and sour soup or suan la tang is a traditional northern Chinese favorite packed with the acidity of vinegar, the spiciness of white pepper, and the nuttiness of sesame oil. The flavor becomes even more complex with the inclusion of ingredients like bamboo shoot, dry mushrooms, wood ear fungus, and finishes with a beaten egg poured high above the soup to form multiple small egg ribbons floating on top of the thick soup. You only need 20 minutes to prepare it. Make it at home to warm your family and their hearts with this utterly delicious soup with the iconic flavor of the northern Chinese cuisine. Step 1. Preparing the meat. You need some lean meat to make this soup. The meat can be either pork or chicken. Use the pork loin or breast if it is chicken. Let's take a look. There are two ways to prepare the meat. You can put a whole piece of meat into the boiling water and let it boil until it is cooked. Remove the pork from the pot and keep the water as the stock for making the soup. Now the second method is what I'm showing you now. is to cut the raw meat into julienne and marinate it with light soy sauce, oil and cornstarch. You only need to marinate the small pieces of meat for 15 minutes. Marination enhances the flavor of the meat and the cornstarch can make the meat to be well worth its smooth. Step 2. Preparing other ingredients. There are many variations of this soup. However, Taofu, mushroom, egg, and wood ear fungus can be found in almost every recipe. So, let me go through one by one how to prepare these ingredients before we start to boiling the soup. Soak the wood ear fungus and the mushroom in water until it is fully hydrated and become very soft and easy to cut. Now here is what how is it look after it is fully hydrated. Wood ear fungus is an ingredient which is very Chinese. You need to soak the dry fungus in water, just like the dry shiitake mushroom. The fungus will expand in size and turn soft once it is fully hydrated. Cut the wood ear fungus into julienne and set aside. Similarly, cut the fully hydrated mushroom into slices, just like the wood ear fungus. The ideal tofu for this soup should be soft, but it can be difficult to handle. I usually buy the block tofu and cut it carefully into two. Then use a chef knife to cut it into slices and then julienne it. The trick to cut the tofu by not breaking it is to use the mince action. That means chopping it with an up-down action, not slicing it. Transfer the tofu strips to a plate and set aside. Bamboo shoot is the essential ingredient of hot and sour soup. I'm using the vacuum packed bamboo shoot imported from China, but I know there are some places selling it in cans. Cut the bamboo shoot into thin slices. I use about 2 tablespoons of bamboo shoot slices. You can increase the amount if you like the crunchiness of the bamboo shoot. You may also add some carrot to make the soup become more colorful. Since other ingredients are cut julienne, the carrot is of no exception. Now we prepare the cornstarch slurry. Get 2.5 tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with a tablespoon of water to form a slurry to thicken the soup. Beat an egg. We're going to use the egg to make some egg ribbons at the end of the cooking. Step 3. Preparing the seasonings. We are going to prepare two sets of seasonings. The first set is to boil with the soap which provides flavor for the soup base. Now these are dark soy sauce, chili bean sauce, salt and sugar. The second set is added only after we turn off the heat. 
it is a combination of vinegar, white pepper, and sesame oil that create the iconic flavor of the hot and spicy soup. Next, prepare the set of seasoning for the soup. We have the dark soy sauce, the chili bean paste or dou ban jiang, some sugar and some salt mixed together and set aside. Before we move on to cook the soup, get ready the final set of seasoning. White pepper, vinegar and sesame oil. This is going to add to the soup only removed from heat. Step 4. Cook and serve. It's time to cook after all the preparations. The cooking is simple and fast. Only takes a few minutes. Let's take a look. Bring 600 ml water to a boil and then we add the mushroom water that we reserved just now into it. Bring it to the boil again and then add the 3 slices of ginger into it. Add the slices of beet into it and bring it to the boil again and cook it for about half a minute before adding the rest of the ingredients. Then we have the carrots, we have the bamboo shoots, the mushrooms, the wood ear fungus, put all inside and let it cook for a while, say about a minute. Next, add the seasoning, the dark soy sauce, chili bean sauce, sugar and salt. Lastly, put the tofu into the pot, be gentle because it is quite easy to break. Pour the cornstarch slurry we made just now into the pot to thicken the soup. Now the fun part. Beat the egg. Pour the egg liquid into the soup by dropping it at a high position slowly in circular motion. Wait for a second or two and use the ladle to push the egg strands around lightly. The egg strands will break into short pieces and form many small ribbons. Turn off the heat. Add the vinegar, white pepper and sesame oil to the soup. The three ingredients are added last as prolonged cooking can reduce the intensity of the flavors. I've just shown you how to prepare the Chinese hot and sour soup in four simple steps. You can download the recipe at my blog, tasteasianfood.com, hot and sour soup. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below, and you'll find many other similar Asian dishes in this channel. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you in the next video. I'm Katie Kwan, and bye for now.